Hello and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, I hope everybody had a merry uh, Christmas and I hope everybody has a happy new year. This is the old uh, DX160 shortwave receiver. It's seen a better day. I got on the 40 meter sideband on a little bitty short wire inside the shack. I don't have no long wire outside hooked up to it. That's 10 megahertz. Like I said, this receiver has had a better day. Uh, it's seen a lot better day. This is a uh, uh, old 1970 something model Radio Shack DX160. I bought it off of eBay back about five or six years ago. And I got it and uh, looked like they was spider webs in it. I took it apart. And I got some of the cold solder joints out of it. The band switch, half the time, won't work. You have to just rock it back and forth. Uh, but anyway, it's just the old receiver I had back in the 70s. And I wanted another one. But this one's uh, been rode hard and put up wet. Like I said, uh, there's probably a bunch of more... <laughs> Uh, code sorter joints in it. I found the uh, I found some code sorter joints. I retouched them up. It helped a little bit, but this is a bad radio on sideband. It drifts a lot. You have to keep your hand on the BFO to stay in tune with the sideband operators on the ham bands. I miss the good old days when shortwave back in the 70s and 80s back in the 70s and 80s shortwave was really awesome but anymore that's a thing of the past there's a few shortwave stations but trust me I do not use this receiver to find them I use these uh, radios right here if I'm going to be serious about finding the weak signal, I use the 7610 or the FTDX101MP. Oh, uh, but anyway, I thought I'd uh, make a quick video of the DX160 Radio Shack Receiver. Urgent. 
encouraging of everyone around us to keep the... ...by billions of glorious talents. The Mar T T Y. That's a good signal. Like I said, there's not a whole lot on shortwave, and I just got a little war running around the room of the shack here. So, uh, let's go check on Miss Bella and see how she's, uh, she's doing today. My water's still froze. Well, look here, there's Miss Bella. Let me turn on some lights here so everybody can see Miss Bella. Say hello, Miss Bella. That's, uh, that's my kitty. That's my mama kitty. She's a good one. She's a good kitty. But anyway, uh, like I said, I had to run me up some things of water here. I ain't had water in two or three days. I'm afraid all my pipes are probably busted. It's been a been a doggone mess. It's cold spell, but anyway, let me go in here. Like I said, I've had this in for several years. Like I said, this ain't much of a receiver anymore. Uh, the one I had was a lot better than this one, but this is, uh, I bought it used and they didn't take care of it and uh, it had a real bad paint job. The paint job was real light gray and it all faded off, so I painted it John Deere green. I got to match an outboard speaker with the... Uh, the DX160 shortwave receiver but this uh, this was a nice receiver back in the 70s but it ain't a nice receiver now I'm sorry but anyway I just thought uh, I'd wish uh, everybody a happy new year and I hope I hope everybody had a merry Christmas so uh, anyway uh it's warming up a little bit outside. Maybe my water will fall today. I, I hope so. I just thought I'd uh, make a, a little short video. Everybody have a good day. 73s from KE4BFG.